You know the arguments, right? Uh, the, the White House, and look at that, Kamala Harris looking through the border wall there, uh, down on the southern border. Four years ago, Kamala Harris inherited the most secure border in U.S. history. And as border czar, she then set the all-time record for illegal immigration into our country every single year. And many of these people were stone cold criminals and murderers. She willfully and deliberately erased her own nation's borders, a crime so wicked as to defy description. Confirms that more than 13,000 illegal immigrants convicted of murder have been caught at the border and then released into the United States. The letter here tells the tale. Hello, I'm John Terrifying. Roberts in Washington. You believe this, Sandra? Which means they are here. And um, this is just an unbelievable development. I'm Sandra Smith in New York. Good to be with you, John. This is America Reports. Let's get right to Bill Malugin. He's got this news for us. He's live out of Douglas, Arizona right now, uh, where Vice President Kamala Harris is set to visit later this afternoon. Bill, the details of this news. What do you have? Yeah, and Sandra, bear with me. We just got these numbers moments ago, but uh, it, it's a jaw dropper to say the least. So to set the stage here, let me just explain what these numbers mean. ICE has something called a non-detained docket. Essentially what that is, is it means migrants who were encountered by DHS but are no longer in federal custody. So who's on this non-detained docket? It's illegal immigrants who were caught and released at the border, released with the court date years away. They're in immigration proceedings combined with illegal immigrants who have already been ordered, deported from the country by a judge, but are still here roaming the country. So keep that in mind, this non-detained docket. Uh, according to a letter that the acting director of ICE just sent to Texas Congressman Tony Gonzalez, uh, on ICE's non-detained docket, they're currently tracking 425,000 uh, non-citizens who have been convicted of a crime. Of that number, over 13,000 non-citizens have convictions for homicide and are on the non-detained docket, meaning they're roaming the country right now. On top of that, there are another 15,811 non-citizens convicted of sexual assault who are roaming the country right now on ICE's non-detained docket. It doesn't stop there. Those are convictions. The ICE director also says there are currently just under 1,900 non-citizens on the non-detained docket who have pending homicide charges who are roaming the country and another 4,250 non-citizens who have pending sexual assault charges who are roaming the country on the non-detained docket. So people's eyes might be glazing over right now with all the numbers we just threw at you. Just to put it in a nutshell right here, what we've learned from the acting ICE director via this letter to Congressman Tony Gonzalez is right now there are over 13,000 illegal aliens convicted of homicide who are roaming the United States right now. There are another 15,811 illegal aliens roaming the country right now who have been convicted of sexual assault. And there are even more who are facing charges for homicide and charges for sexual assault. So this just goes to show, guys, the non-detained docket has exploded under the Biden administration to over, I believe it's 7.3 million. They're anticipating it could hit 8 million by the end of the years. But uh, looking at the numbers on this letter right here, there are currently over 600,000 non-citizens on ICE's non-detained docket who are either convicted, or, excuse me, 600,000 non-citizens on this non-detained docket who are roaming the country right now. Of that, 425,000 have already been convicted of crimes. 222,000 are pending crimes. And again, the most serious crimes we just told you. Well, before I begin, I will say a few words about uh, Hurricane Halim. Um, so the president and I, of course, are monitoring the case and the situation closely, and we urge everyone who is watching at this very moment to take this storm very seriously, and please follow the guidance of your local officials. And President Biden and I, of course, will continue to work closely with state and local officials. We do not need four more years of bluster and bumbling and chaos. We have seen that movie before, and we all know that the sequel is usually worse. 